Welcome to my lecture online. In order to understand how this technique works for three-dimensional space, namely to find the shortest distance between any two lines in space, we're going to do a conceptual example of what it looks like in two dimensions. So let's say we have two lines, line one and line two, and to make it a little bit easier, we made them parallel to one, to one another. So that the vectors, the parallel vectors v1, which is parallel to l1, and v2, which is parallel to l2, should also be parallel to each other. Let's also pick two points, point 1 and point 2, point 1 on line 1, point 2 on line 2, with the coordinates of those two points. So there's two things that we need. First of all, we need a vector that's perpendicular to both lines. And so we can see that if we draw a vector from here to here, perpendicular cross to the two lines, vector A is perpendicular to both V1 and V2, and it's perpendicular to line 1 and line 2. In addition to that, we're going to take vector A and divide it by its own length to get the unit vector A hat like this, which is the vector A divided by its own length. We also need a second vector, vector B, which connects the two points that are given to us. So we can define vector B as being uh, the, x the x component, the y component, the z component by taking the difference between the x, y, and z coordinates of the two points. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the dot product between the two and notice what we should do here is of course divide that by the magnitude of A. So here we're taking the dot product of B times the, the unit vector of A. So what does that really mean? So when we take the dot product between two vectors, we basically take the magnitude of B times the magnitude of A times the cosine of the angle between them. But if I divide by the magnitude of A and I just have the unit vector A, then it's going to be the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle times the unit direction of A. So simply, the unit vector length here is equal to 1. So essentially, when we do the dot product, we simply get the component of B along the direction of A. And so we get B times the cosine of theta, which is the component of B along the vector A, which simply gives us the distance between the two lines. So that's essentially what we're trying to do in three dimensions. We're trying to get the vector, which is perpendicular to both lines, and then we take two points, one on each line, draw a vector between them, and then do a dot product between the vector that connects the two points on the two lines with the vector that's perpendicular to the two lines and essentially not just perpendicular to the two lines but we only take the unit vector that so we just want the direction and we don't want the magnitude so we only take the magnitude of b along the direction of a and that gives us the shortest distance and so that's what we're going to do in three dimensions but at least you can see visually why it works in two dimensions and it translates itself to three dimensions three dimensions it's a little bit more difficult to see that's why we did this example, and that is how it's done. Hi, Tappy. Hi, girl. Mm -hmm.